All right, so you want to record pass through on your quest two, uh, or you just want to record in general. Uh, I'm going to show you the best ways that I found how to do this, but apparently Meta's smoking tons of crack. For some reason, recording with fucking shiny colors, it's not a security issue, but recording in black and white is totally a security issue, or privacy issue, sorry. But anyway, it's fine. Rec you're getting better quality from recording it with OBS anyway, so it's not a big deal. And I'll show you. So first thing you're going to need is programs. You're going to need side quest here. And then you're going to grab a screen copy. And this is what we're going to use to actually record uh, the lens from your quest too. And then you're going to need OBS shader filter. Uh, this is going to circumvent the need to use DaVinci or external software to fix uh, the lens. You're going to be recording the lens of your Oculus uh, as it is. Uh, so go ahead and make sure you grab all those. And uh, if you're using SideQuest, make sure you have the advanced version of SideQuest. So once you have those downloaded, uh, I want to go over a couple of little uh, tricks you can do with SideQuest if you just want to record using the internal recording feature that's on the Quest systems and you necessarily don't want to set all this up. As a, a couple settings in SideQuest will help you make the quality of your videos much better just straight out the box with your system. And to access those settings, you need to use SideQuest. And then whenever you have it connected, you want to go over to little gear icon. And then from here, immediately what I do is I set the refresh rate to 60. Uh, FFR, I like to set off because it. Uh, there's been an update to the game that where they removed the uh, quality settings. By default, the FFR was set extremely high. So I just turn this off and it will just immediately improve the quality of your peripheral. Uh, so I turn that off. And just remember when you do this recording specifically while playing it's fine you know you want this off but when you're recording it may cause stuttering if you have this off because it's going to be less taxing on your system having this up higher um, chromatic aberration i have off i just click the 1600 by 1600 tatiana's preset and that just enables these settings automatically and then full rate capture which will record at 60 fps You just need to connect it to Wi-Fi or connect your link cable to get it connected, and you can pretty much just minimize side quest. Next, you want to go to your screen copy folder wherever you put. Go ahead and open it up, and then you want to go to open a terminal here. Uh, you don't want to launch; you just want to open a terminal here. And what that'll do is it'll open up what what it says it'll do. Open a terminal, and then from there, I have this command. Boom! Just hit enter. Boom, there it is, which I have on my lap, and you're recording full pass-through. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the lens is completely distorted. Straight lines are not straight. Uh, if you look at the edges of the screen, it will warp anything that is on it, so there's no correction made, and, and that is what OBS shader filter is for. So once you have that, all you got to do is set up your OBS to record it, and how I do this is I just have a window capture, and I will set this window capture to that screen copy screen. And when you have this up, just for future reference, uh, you want it on, you don't want it on full screen. You want to have it uh, where you have the most image in the little square. So you want to make sure it is as low as you can go before it starts to do this and shrink. And it just fills out your entire image just anywhere on your screen up like this now on this source you want to go ahead and right click it here and then resize output uh you want to do that so you're just recording this square as your entire image like how here i have it here on the left but i'm also recording my desktop you don't want to do this you just want to have this little box uh whenever you're recording it so here in this clip i have the filter on and it's not cropped yet if i crop it it'll look like that and all i did here is i i I um, mean, go ahead and you want to pause the video and just copy these things down. It is the best I managed to get it. Uh, when you're recording natively with the Quest, uh, you're cropping basically your entire image. You're using, like, the meta just said, fuck your edges. Who needs it? You just need the center of your screen. Uh, and that's ridiculous. Uh, so you're going to want to pause this video and just copy these down. Pause the video. Go ahead, because I'm not writing these down. What you're going to want to do is you're going to right click on your display capture that you have for your screen copy window and then go ahead and then click on filters. And then here's where you want to add your shader filter from that GitHub link. Go ahead and just follow the instructions that are on uh, the GitHub description for this. I forget how I got it to here. 
it's 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 fine and then whenever you have these done just go ahead and add a second one on you can just copy and paste it and use these exact settings uh, all that's going to be cropped down are the very bottom corners right here which is lit nothing so if i add the crop I have pretty much the entire image with barely a couple pixels on the edges cropped out and the bottom corners. Yes, I'm aware the top left of my lens is completely fucked. Just ignore that. For <laughs> Remember to right click and resize your output. Once you do that, your video is pretty much ready to go. But now I need audio because you can mirror the screen, but you can't mirror the goddamn audio for some reason. So for that, and this seems pretty redundant, and I know it's going to sound like it's going to weigh very heavy on your system, and it will be, but sometimes it's not. It will, but sometimes it's not. So you just go to Oculus Casting, sign in, and you just need to cast from your Quest system by clicking on the right home button, and then, come on, you know how to do this. Start casting, and then whatever that pops up here in Chrome, and from here, I just turn the volume on, crank that bad boy up, and then turn my mic on to add an audio output capture. And if you're already recording your desktop audio, uh, like I am right now, but before you move on and start playing, uh, make sure you click this window last uh, so that it's the topmost screen on your desktop or else it, you'll have issues with having no frames and then suddenly you have an infinite number of frames in like three seconds. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Scared the shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That honestly terrified me what that was. I'm gonna go uh, grab some salt and a crucifix and I'll be right back. And I just wanna update for my subscribers the, the hundred, almost 200 of you now. Holy sh. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and I just wanted to say, why aren't the rest of you subscribed? <laughs> what the hell? Do you like my videos or not? Yes, Blasphemane is still coming. I am waiting on my friend Dan to send me the goddamn blinky lights. And to that, a good day. See you next one.